Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's look at how to assemble some of these pieces that we have so that you can complete the first part of our assignment. So, got the piece. Hopefully you have at least three of these guys. At least three. Um, and what we're going to do, I want to I want to define some, let me make my uh, document camera full screen for you guys. So I want to define some areas on this that I need you to kind of be aware of. And I also want to point out that if you are folding uh, this guy, which requires that you assemble three pieces, you need to do one thing to the original piece. So if you recall, we had a piece like this. I told you the very last step was to fold it this way. Uh, now, if you are putting together one of these three-piece origami guys, then I just need you to take that last fold that we just made and reverse it. So take all of your pieces, take that last fold, and just make it kind of go the other direction. That's going to be really helpful when we go to assemble these three pieces. All right. So now let me define some areas on here. So I want to point out that in the center of the piece is a square. And it is important that you see that square because I'm going to need to kind of draw your attention back to that. I also want to point out that on that square are some pockets. So there's a little pocket here and there's a little pocket over here. Both of those pockets kind of exist on that square shape. Now, there are also two points on each piece. And this is a point, there's a point here. Some people or students sometimes will confuse the these spaces out here as an additional pocket but I don't you can't you should not use that pocket so they only need to be the pockets that are on the square if you're sticking something into this pocket it's not gonna work uh, so I've taken some pieces and I've just kind of defined these areas so I've drawn the square so you can see that very clearly I've drawn the pockets or just a number on the pocket so this is pocket number one uh, and I've drawn numbers on the points as well so that you'll be able to see that. If you get to a place where you're trying to assemble this and it's not working, I want you to draw these, draw the box, draw the numbers on the pockets, draw the numbers on the points. And if you look, you can see I've done this for all three of my pieces. Uh, so just again, if you are having trouble, it's not working, they're not going together the way you want, I'm gonna ask you to draw the square on each piece so you know where that box is draw the numbers on the pockets and the numbers on the points. All right, let's do some assembly. I'm gonna start with piece number one. I'm gonna start with pocket, this pocket number one. You can do either pocket, but I'm gonna choose this one just because it's easy to access. And I'm gonna take piece number two, and I'm gonna take point number two and put it in the pocket. So point two has now gone into that pocket. Uh, and you might find that your piece kind of wants to kind of bubble up on you, which is totally normal. Uh, a lot of times I'll just kind of hold it flat for this initial step. So I've got piece number two, point two, and pocket number one. Now I'm going to bring over piece number three, and you can see kind of how I'm orienting it. I'm going to, there are two pockets here. I want to bring the pocket that's closest to square one. So I'm going to put P, point three in pocket number two, right here, just like that. So there I've assembled three pieces. I'm gonna to begin to do the next step, and at this step, we're gonna to start to make this whole thing three-dimensional. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do in just a moment is I'm gonna take point number one, which you can kinda of see over here, and I'm gonna put it into pocket number three. Now it's important that it goes in pocket number three, that's close to the, the second square. And watch, because as I do this, I'm going to make this into a three-dimensional object. So right now it's flat. Uh, I'm going to kind of hold the thing together. So I'm keeping point number two from sliding out. And I'm just going to bring point one around. And now I'm sliding it into pocket number three. So if you look now, I've got a three-dimensional shape. And it is that half of the pyramid. I've got all my points in pockets. So... Uh, so I'm going to take this piece now and I'm just going to turn it over. Um, and you can see there's kind of a little bowl there. Uh, and what I want to do, I'm going to turn my piece until you can see it. I want to find the other half of the first square, square number one. 
And what I want to do is I just want to push so you can see that there's a, a piece of that that is connected. It's already got a point in the pocket. And then there's that piece that's just kind of loose. It's just floating there. I want to take that triangle shape. And I just want to point it, push it over. So I'm just going to kind of push it over. And now I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to turn my piece just a little bit. And there's a, a, a point here. So I've got pocket number one. And I, I want to have a point go into that pocket. Uh, so I'm going to take point number three, because it's it's always going to be the the point that is on your left. So I've got a pocket here. I've pushed it over. I'm going to take point number three, and I'm just going to bring it over. And you can see right now it's it's over the pocket. I'm just going to bend it a little bit so that it goes right into that pocket. So now I've got point three in pocket number one, and I still have uh, two points. And if you look, I've got two empty pockets. So I'm going to come over now to, to this square, number two, and I'm just going to kind of gently push that triangle down. And you can see again, here's a point that's on my left that wants to go into this pocket. And it is point number one. So point number one, I'm going to just now slip into pocket number two. And now uh, you can kind of see the last one should be pretty clear. I've got point three. Just want to point out again, or I'm sorry, pocket number three. And I just want to point out again that this is point. This point is on the left. I'm just going to bend that and slide it into that pocket. Now, a lot of times I'll have students where there may be gaps, and sometimes what will happen when you slide these in is the the point will kind of slip over a little bit. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's gone over the edge a little bit or like it's not, like right here is not, not very uh, nice and tight. And most of the time it just involves you kind of coming around and just kind of pushing all the points kind of neatly into their pockets. But that's it. That's how to assemble these. Uh, if you're having difficulty, I'd be happy to help you uh, in person. So thanks for watching and good luck.